Many factors go into a severe weather forecast, and that includes a two-way communication outlet with the National Weather Service. Well, one division of the National Weather Service is making some important changes. Storm Team 10's Joseph Danes has details. We do have a slight risk for severe weather. You can see that in the yellow area right there. We've become familiar to that sound in those words during a severe weather risk. But where does that colored set of risk labels come from? It is released by the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma, prior to potential severe threats. The SBC puts out our tornado watches and severe thunderstorm watches when warranted. They also produce a severe weather outlook. This outlook is put into place to help provide awareness. Over the last 35 years, the SPC has been using a basic guideline that you can see here with three main categories of slight, moderate, and high. That will be remodeled as of October 22nd. That means you will see the Storm Team 10 using additional terms and categories to help you be more aware of severe weather potential. Here are the significant changes. The SBC has added two more categories to the outlook, making a five-tier outlook, adding marginal and enhanced categories. You can see the new breakdown here, where marginal is the first level and enhanced is added between slight and moderate risk. Now this can be a little confusing, so let me try to draw a picture for you, literally. We have yellow, which represents a slight risk, moderate risk at red, and pink at high risk. This is what is in place currently. Well, there will be a change because, as you can tell, there's some areas that overlap and some gray spots. Now, what did the SPC do? Well, they reached out to you and they made it more specific. They straightened out the edges and they definitely filled in those gaps to make it more refined and clear for you. In Terre Haute, Joseph Dames, Storm Team 10. As a reminder, the Outlook images were examples. They do not apply to our weather today. You can find a more detailed breakdown to the SPC changes on our website, where a link will be posted to those updates.